some expired or unused prescription medications lying around, you can dispose of them safely today. It's National Prescription Drug Take Back Day. It's a campaign by the U.S. Drug Enforcement Administration to combat America's drug overdose epidemic. And joining us to tell us more is Anastasia Martin. She is supervisor of drug demand reduction at the DEA. Good to see you. Hello, how are you? Good, thanks for coming in. And I know you have some visual aids there. Uh, why is it so important to have this program? Well, uh, the drug take back was um, established by DEA for the safe and anonymous disposal of prescription medications. Um, also to protect the environment, which includes our waterways. Why not, uh, well, you kind of answered it there, why not just flush it down the toilet or throw it in the trash? Right, it's not safe for the environment. Um, so we want to, you know, take care of our environment and make sure that whatever is disposed is irretrievable. Mm -hmm. Because you never really know what's in there and how it's going to affect the land, the water, everything, especially. Absolutely. So much concern about it Absolutely. now. Absolutely. Yeah. Uh, now, tell us a little bit about the community concerns. You know, we talk about this uh, being used as a way to prevent misuse of medication. Right. So um, most people are aware of the potential risks of medication misuse and drug poisonings, which is of a special concern for our youth. And so these events allow the public an opportunity to dispose of unwanted, unused, expired medications in an environmentally safe, sound way. Yeah, because you never know if the children can get their hands on it if you leave it in the cabinet. I mean, I, to be honest, sometimes I forget about my medications and it's still sitting there years later after being expired. Right, so we just want to constantly remind people that there are disposal options that are safe and want to keep your home safe. Mm -hmm. And I know you have several sites across the state. Yes, we uh, do. Tell us a little bit about where we can um, take part in this and drop off our medications. Okay, so again, the event is today from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. and there are nine uh, parking lot drop-off locations on the islands. Mm -hmm. You can see it on the information on your right. screen now. So we have the state capitol, we have the Pearl City Police Station, Kailua Fire Station and Times Supermarket uh, near Kahala Mall. And then on the Big Island of Hawaii, there are two locations, the Kailua Kona Police Station and a medical center uh, complex in Hilo. In Maui, there are two police department locations, one in Wailuku, the other in Kihei. And there's one location in Kauai, in Lahui. So lots of opportunities to drop off those medications. And uh, how much do you actually collect? Because you do this twice a year. Right. And I hear you get a lot of medication. Yeah, since the program started in 2010, the DEA Hawaii office has collected over 65,000 pounds of medications. Yeah, a lot of them, you know, uh, going into safe disposal. So thanks so much uh, for coming on the show and telling us about it. Uh, we'll have more information on our website. Again, starts at 10 a.m. at those locations, and we'll have those again on our website, hawaiinewsnow.com. Thanks so much, Anastasia Martin, um, for joining just us. Just one more yes. uh, plug. Uh, for more information on the Take Back Days, please visit www.dea.gov slash Take Back Day. All right, thanks so much.